Good morning children. Ever since I learned that plants give us so many things, I have started spending more time with them. Yes, they are my best friends and I love to take care of them. I know children, this is the least that I can do to repay their debt. Don't you also think so? Plants give us so many things and it is not easy to repay their debt. They give us fruits, vegetables, cereals, pulses, spices, beverages, oils and dry fruits. But do you know there are some more things that are derived from plants. Yes children, I am talking about those things which are not eaten but they are very useful for us. Would you like to know about them in detail? Alright, today we have an esteemed guest with us. Let us meet Mr. Tree and interview him to know more about the things that plants give us. Hello Mr. Tree. Oh, hello. So glad to meet you Mr. Tree. Today I have my grade 3 students with me and on behalf of them I would like to ask you some questions. Hi there lovely kids, how are you all doing? Mr. Tree, my students love to spend time with plants. They have some beautiful plants at their homes and want to know about the things that plants give us. Children, plants are the main source of food on the earth. but Food is not the only thing that is obtained from plants. In fact, if you look around yourself, you will see many things derived from plants. <laughs> I'm sure you love to read and write children. But do you know where the paper which is used to make your notebooks, books, birthday cards and newspaper comes from? <laughs> it is obtained from plants such as bamboo and pampas grass. Oh, that's a beautiful piece of information Mr. Tree. So children, next time whenever you read a book, don't forget to thank plants for providing paper on which books could be printed. <laughs> Not only books and notebooks my dear, but also the wood used in your pencil and even rubber used to make your eraser. All these also come from plants. Rubber which is also used to make gloves, tires and even your rubber ball is made from the milky liquid of rubber plant. Children, that means almost everything on your study table including books, notebooks, pencil, eraser and your wooden study table could reach you only because of plants. And even gum that you use to paste your papers is also obtained from a plant named Kikar. We owe so much to plants Mr. Tree. Actually children, I want to share with you that the cotton kurti I am wearing and the jute pouch I am carrying. I am grateful to plants for all these. Now you must be wondering why is man saying so? Children, actually cotton fibers and jute fibers are also derived from plants only. I am humbled my dear and yes, you are right. Cotton fibers are obtained from cotton plants. They are used to make cotton clothes. In the same manner, jute ropes, mats and mattresses also. All of these are made up of jute fibers which is derived from jute plants. 